Hello, hello, hello. This is your bad couch guru, Lynn Lindbergh, and today we are going drinking. Okay, maybe we're not going drinking, but today is a question from the audience, and I, I love this question. I'll, I'll, I'll just read it to you here, and uh, then we'll go forward. So here it is. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It's really not a laughing matter, but okay, here I go. Hi, Lynn. This is not really an exercise question, but I'm hoping you'll still answer uh, this for me. Everyone around me drinks uh, even before events. How concerned should I be about drinking and my exercise performance? Thanks for being there sober in Seattle. Um <laughs> Well, first of all, I love this. It brings me, you must be about my age. If I had to guess, it brings me back to the the Dear Abby. Um, sober in Seattle. <laughs> Makes me think I know you. Do I know you? Come on. If I know you, you got to come clean. You got to let me know. Because uh, as y'all know, I live in the Seattle area. Uh, maybe that's why they didn't put their name on it. So, okay, let's get to the meat of this. Drinking and alcohol 101. First of all, I've got to say, oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. This is a huge topic with so many different nuances, so much heartache, so many trigger points, like, oh my gosh. And and one thing I've learned about alcohol and drinking is the social norms for different pockets of the population are really incredibly different. Uh, You know, if you live in uh, even Seattle, uh, Seattle's a really big drinking town, uh, quite frankly. I mean, that's kind of what you do is you eat and you drink in Seattle and you buy clothes. Um, (laughs) And then you wear those clothes and you go around and you eat and drink and buy more clothes. Uh, different different pockets of Seattle are are like that. Uh, when I've been in the Midwest, uh, you know, I don't want to stereotype, right? Uh, but it's just different. There's a lot more uh, light beers or regular beers, uh, high in calories, uh, lower in alcohol. Um, New York, huge uh, drinking city, and then there's some areas and cities that are dry towns. Uh, I, I spent a week at a, a fitness resort in Utah, and it was like they didn't even know how to answer and address the topic of drinking because there were a lot of, dr- like, seriously dry towns. And I was like, really? A dry town? That's a thing? Uh, apparently it is. Uh, <laughs> so look at the cultural I just, culture I just gained. Uh, so... So I want to be really, really careful in answering this in a way um, where I don't uh, pretend to know things uh, that I don't know. And I really respect the fact that there's uh, tremendous uh, practitioners out there. So first of all, if you are concerned that you're drinking too much, uh, which actually isn't the question at all, you're saying drinking and performance. Uh, Okay, so we'll go to that topic later. Drinking and performance. Yes, alcohol is poison for your body. (laughs) Period. Uh, There is there was there was and it still prevails. This notion that drinking red wine is good for you because it has some, uh, you know, um, the grapes have something in it that's good for you. I forgot the, the name of it. I was actually really frustrated by that study. And I went back to the actual research study to be like, how in the world are they saying red wine is good for you, a glass or two a day, went in and dove in more detail on that research study. And uh, the abstract from the study, never, never once said red wine is good for you. In fact, there's an even more huge truckload of research that says drinking is bad for you. And they're like, but 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 what about the what you get in the grapes and and stuff? If you just eat your fruits and vegetables, you're going to get that you don't need to drink wine. There is no reason that wine is going to give you something that eating a well balanced diet, you will not be nutritionally deficient in any way. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. So I did look into that. 
because uh, it was a topic uh, that was I was pretty passionate about. So when it comes to, to alcohol in moderation and fitness performance, know that alcohol is not good for you. It hurts you. But it is a relaxing thing. But in the long term, it's not a good way to deal with stress. So you need to make your own personal decision. And you need to own it. Of how much are you going to drink? And how does it impact your life? And a really surefire way to discover how much alcohol does or does not have a uh, chokehold on your life is to just stop drinking. Like say, pick one week and don't drink at all for one week and see how much do you think about it? How much better do you feel at the end of that week? How are you waking in the morning? And if you are a daily drinker and you don't drink for a week, you are going to be surprised at how much it really does uh, negatively impact you. And if there was one thing that I ever learned about alcohol and just living in a city where there's a lot of um, lot of drinking and a lot of folks that struggle with it is get help sooner than later because later is too late. And uh, I, I spent some time really researching that topic and I realized that once you're in it too deeply, it's really almost uh, impossible to get out of it in a way that's healthy for the rest of your life. Uh, wow, that was not uh, <laughs> uh, a super happy, happy episode. Uh, but yeah, so as far as drinking, make your own decision. Don't let your peer group um, think you're crazy for making your own decision. And be mindful and be intentional with how you drink and when. And that will put you in a place where you'll feel better about the whole topic in general. Yes, way more on this topic. uh, But uh, start there and maybe we'll revisit it again. Or sober in Seattle, send me another question, a follow up question, and we'll answer it on another podcast. Alrighty, take care, y'all. Big hugs. Exercise should not be dreadful, but getting off the couch is the hardest exercise of all. Remember to head on over to our homepage at couch2active.com and see what's going on over there. Do give a great review on your podcast platform that will help spread the word of Couch Too Active. Bye-bye now.